For Thermbond Formula 12L, it should be mixed in a Hobart type mixer. First, determine the weight of the premixed dry formulation required. Next, weigh the activator according to the predetermined wet to dry ratio. Be sure to dry mix the dry component before mixing any material as the contents may have settled during shipping and some segregation may have occurred. Pour enough pre-measured liquid activator into the mixing bowl for the entire batch to be mixed. Let the mixer run until the material folds upon itself and looks homogeneous. This should take approximately 2-4 to four minutes. Mixing too long in the mixer will cause the material to begin to set, significantly decreasing the time available to properly place the material. To increase working time, spread the material out on a piece of plexiglass or a mortar board while it is waiting to be placed. Begin to place the material into the hex mesh with the fingers, ensuring that each biscuit is completely full. Once you are sure that each biscuit is full, immediately begin ramming the material into place using a pneumatic ramming tool. After the refractor has been consolidated with the ramming hammer, overfill shall be removed flush with the tops of the hex metal or hex halt anchors using a trowel or a curry comb and discarded. The surface shall be tamped as necessary to remove imperfections such as surface tearing and pull away defects. The full depth of the refractory lining shall be placed in one continuous operation. The initial placement shall completely fill the hex metal biscuit.